in this video we will discuss few concepts related with the data structures for example problem logic algorithm data structure then what is information then again at the end we will discuss the concept of abstract data type so this is the content of this video problem logic algorithm and data structures abstract data type and data structure classification so let us start with the one point what is algorithm so problem can be solved using series of actions the steps that are followed in order to solve the problems are collectively called as algorithm so algorithm is nothing but the series of actions which is which are defined for solving problem there are some problems for which the direct solution does not exist for building the solution to such a problem some reasoning is required this reasoning is usually based on knowledge and prior experience hence the process of trial and error is followed to solve the given problem the process is called logic building for particular solution in computer science when we want to solve any problem then we need data the data structure that will arrange the data in some specific manner and the algorithm which will handle this data structure in a systematic manner the data structure is used for arranging the data and algorithm is used to solve the problem by systematic execution of each step where <coughs> data is nothing but raw data or unprocessed data for example age of the students which is taken as an array and this array consists of 21 23 24 26 28 21 22 29 where information information is data that has been processed in a such a way that it will become meaningful to the person who receive it the information has structure and context now here if you consider this data or information then this information is arranged in a particular order if you see the data in raw data which is used which is called as a data then age of a students which is written as 21 24 26 28 21 22 29 where age of the student which is the information where this information is organized in ascending order so 21 22 22 then again 23 24 26 28 and 29 so this is organized in a particular sequence so this is called information where knowledge knowledge is basically something which person knows knowledge requires a person to understand what information is based on their experience and knowledge base where data structure is a particular way of organizing data in a computer so that it can be used effectively then next concept is called as abstract data type what is abstract data type abstract data type is a triple of d set of domains f sets of functions and a axioms now here in adt all the implementation details are hidden in short adt consists of type function names behavior of each function the abstract data type consists of data used along with its data type declaration of functions which specifies only the purpose that means what is to be done in a particular function has to be mentioned but how is to be done must be hidden and third thing which is nothing but the behavior of function can be specified with the help of data and functions together adt allows programmer to hide the implementation details hence it is called abstract hence it is called abstract now here if you consider the data structure so data structure is already defined now there are few types of data structure which is called as the primitive data structure and non primitive data structure again data structure is classified as static data structure and dynamic data structure so primitive data structure which consists of integer character float non primitive data structure consists of linear data structure and non linear data structure linear data structures are list queues and stacks where non linear data structures are trees and graphs static data type structures and dynamic data type structures these are the two types of data structures which are used for the 
programming now we are static means we cannot change data during the programming while in dynamic data structure we can change the data during the programming so this is about the introduction of data structure okay thank you